Hello fellow Sublime Text fanatics, Odat Nerd here back with another Sublime Text tutorial and the topic of today's video is supercharging your build systems with key bindings. Now we have talked about build systems in the past, they're Sublime's way of allowing us to execute any external program we want. We can use that to execute programs like compilers and linkers, code beautifiers, any utility we might want to execute. And we have a lot of power when it comes to build systems as well. We can make them specific to a certain type of file, we can make them specific to a certain operating system, even to the particular project that we happen to be working within. Now, if you have a few different build systems for carrying out the various tasks you usually do in your day-to-day -day work, you may have found that it can be a little bit tedious to constantly have to switch which build system you're using depending on what task it is you're trying to carry out. It turns out, though, that we can easily get around that, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to kick your build systems up to the next level by creating a build system key binding that will execute any build you want without having to switch to it. <laughs> Now we've talked about build systems in the past and we've talked about projects and project related builds in the past as well. So we're gonna assume you understand how that works here. But if anything you see in this video doesn't make any sense to you, check down in the description of the video. I've linked to the relevant videos there so you can bring yourself up to speed. Now for our example purposes here, I have this custom.sublime build file here. It's in my user package. And this is just a simple example of what you might see in a build system. This is a very stripped down thing. We're just using the echo command to be able to output uh, when each of these these variants or builds are chosen so we can see which one it is of course in your regular build system you'd have a lot more complicated stuff in here now we have here the top level build compiling our program uh, such as it is and then there are variants for cleaning up the project that would remove any intermediate files like object files if you're a C programmer things of that nature and the run variant would actually run the program and of course if you weren't doing a programming and you're doing something else the same sorts of things still apply now up here in the tools menu under build system and we have this set to the custom build. That's not a requirement for this. It could be set to automatic as well, but I didn't want to head up, set up a selector in this to be able to select this build. And now when I build, I might say we want to compile our program. So I use the key to select the build and say I want to do the top level one. Now we see it saying compiling the code. Now Sublime remembers which variant you chose. So every time I push the key now, it always does the exact same thing. And when I'm done compiling and I'm ready to start running my program, then I need to use the item and switch to the run variant to be able to do that. Now I can run my program as much as I want. If you're in the situation where you're compiling and then running and compiling and then running, you have to keep going back and forth between these two key bindings to be able to do that. And of course, you know, if you decided you wanted to clean, you can do that, but then it's going to remember that and you have to remember to choose one of these other ones. Now, of course, you can also optimize this a little bit by having a variant that compiles and then runs, but that can be wasteful depending on the type of project you're working on. You don't need to compile absolutely everything uh, every time you run something, you only need to compile certain things, right? So in this build system, uh, key binding thing that we're working on here, we're going to make this so that we can execute any one of these with any key that we happen to define. And that makes this seem more like an IDE that you might have used in the past where you have one key for building and another key for running and another key for cleaning. And of course, this applies to any task you might want to set up. Anything you need to run as an external tool. If you have a build system, you can do this and you don't have to keep switching back and forth between those things. Now, just to show exactly how this is working, I have this other build system here, which again just says this is the currently selected build. And now we're going to go up into the tools build system menu and set this to this. So now no matter what I do when I build, it always says this is the currently selected build. This is the standard build key, right? So that's what this build is always going to do no matter what. Now I'm going to go into my key bindings and for this I'm just going to use the uh, the view package file command because it's a little bit easier than and makes more sense in the window here for us. And we're going to go ahead and create a key binding here. Now, of course, when you do this, you would use any sort of key that you like. I'm going to keep it at the default of control shift H. And the command we're going to use here is the build command. This is a command that is, as we can see, built into Sublime Text. And of course, I am using the uh, uh, package dev package to be able to get these uh, arguments here. Now we're going to want to add some arguments to this command to be able to do something. So let's go ahead and throw that in. And we can see package dev is showing us all the arguments this command takes. But what we're really only interested in here are these ones right here. We can tell the build command what build system we'd like it to use and what variant we'd like it to use as well. Now when it comes to the build system name, I'm going to go ahead and enter that here as packages user custom dot sublime dash build and then we're going to leave the variant key the way it is. I'm going to save that to make this key binding active. Now when I press control shift H, the build says it's compiling code. Even though if I was to use the build key, 
it says this is the currently selected build. And we can change the variance here. If we look over at the build system, there's a variant named clean and there's a variant named run. So if we come back to the build system, if we wanted to have a key to run our program, we could specify run like this. And now when I press the key, it says it's running the program every time, even though again, the build is still the currently selected build. And of course you could go ahead and swap that for clean or have you know a third key binding for this. And now when you press the key, it's running the clean operation operation instead. So if you want to have one key binding to do one part of a build and one for another at your uh, whim without having to constantly swap between them, this is very easily done. Now it's important to note here that the variant key is case sensitive and it has to be present in here. So if you want the top level build, use just an empty string like this. Otherwise enter the variant in exactly the same way as the name key is specifying it here in the sublime build file. And um, you might be asking, how do you know what build system, what the value for that is, uh, that's very easy. Use view package file, enter the filter sublime dash build like so. This is going to show you all of the build systems and it's going to show you what package they're in and what part of the package they're in because they're not always in the root of a package. Find the one you want in here and then just add packages and a forward slash to the front of it. So if I was to look up custom, we can see this is user custom dot sublime build and here this is packages user custom dot sublime build. And if it's a build system that you made yourself, it's always is going to be in packages user. You only need to worry about other packages uh, if there's uh, something from something else. And so this is awesome for being able to set up things like having a key to a dedicated compile your code and another one for running it so you can run it multiple times without compiling things of that nature. You might uh, have a a build system set up with various variants for tools you commonly use, even if you're not programming, that you want to be able to execute very quickly and easily uh, because the build system uh, when it expands, it allows you to use variables in it to get at the current directory and things of that nature, which is something you can't do in a regular key binding. Now, it is possible to do things like this, not only with a regular build system, but also with a project specific build system as well. Now, in order to demonstrate that, let's go ahead and use the quick switch project. I have a project here set up named build test. And we can see here, there are uh, three different build systems listed in this project. And the last one, project build three, has a variant in it named other. And just like the previous example, we're just using the echo shell command here to be able to see which one of these is actually being executed. In your case, you'd have more things in here, of course. And in order to work with this, we're again going to need to get into our key bindings while so use view package file and say user windows key map uh, to get back to the appropriate thing here. Now, when it comes to this, when we want to specify the build system, here we're specifying the name of the build system file as it exists on disk, but we don't want to do that here. Inside of a project, we want to use the name of the build system because remember in a build system that's in a project, every one of these has to have a name and not just a variant. So the top level builds here are named project build one, project build two, project build three, and so on. So I can say project project build one. And we still need to have the variant key in there. And now when I push the key, we get it saying I am project build system one. And of course we could swap that to project build system two by doing that and uh, project build system three as well by doing that. And we get project build system three a there because remember this one is, it has a variant in it. So if we wanted to execute a variant of one of these commands, we could also do that as well by adding the variant in here like so. And now when we do it, we get build system system 3b, the variant. Now, of course, the examples that we're covering here are a little bit contrived, but that's just because of the open-ended nature of Sublime Text. You could be a software developer, you could be a web page author, you could be writing prose or just regular text files. Anybody that's using Sublime for anything and also executes external tasks should find this uh, really handy and useful. And this just scratches the surface because remember, you can add context to your key bindings. So if you work with multiple different programming languages on a regular basis, you can use the same keys to execute the same relative tasks in different build systems. And now, whether you're working in C, Java, Rust, Go, you have one key that always compiles your program and another one that always runs it. Or if you're using projects and you have various project specific tasks that you always need to take out, if you make sure that the build systems inside of your projects have uniform names, then your build systems will always execute the appropriate project specific task inside of the appropriate context at all times. So this is a very handy and useful thing to have. So hopefully this has helped you supercharge your key bindings and build systems 
systems in Sublime Text to make you a little bit more proficient and waste a little bit less time working on your work so you have more time for the fun things in life. So that's all we have for this video. Remember to use those buttons down below to thumb subscribe and share as you deem appropriate so you don't miss out on new videos when they arrive. And until the next video, this is Odat Nerd asking you to please have a sublime day.